Hey, what's going on, guys? It is the SMT. Welcome back to the SMT YouTube channel. Good to have you guys. Glad you stopped by today. Uh, we've got some information that was just released from Root Metrics. This is their website. You guys can see how it's going to look and how you can interact with it on the mobile site. Uh, if you want to get like a more detailed view and some, you know, more easily accessible items, you could probably do a better job with this if you were to check it out on desktop or whatever. Uh, but here's what it's going to look like, you know, on mobile. And since our you know, our channel is mostly mobile based. I thought I'd kind of present it to you guys this way. Anyways, not all data for half two of 2019 is available, but it looks like they've made one thing available and that's the market analysis. All of the data that they collected between, you know, all the months that are in the second half of 2019. Now this data that they collect is valuable. It's, it's insightful. In no way, shape, or form am I indicating that this is the only way to measure a network's true performance. Everything varies by location. Everything kind of depends on several variables and factors. But what I've learned over the years is as I've used root metrics as a measure, it hasn't really led me, you know, to inconclusive evidence or things that are incorrect. It's it's pretty accurate when I look at the markets that they cover in terms of testing and when I go to those markets and experience the networks in those places. So a couple things that are very notable in the data that I was able to kind of look at, you'll see that on the left hand side, all of the markets are identified. I highly recommend you guys check this out for the areas that you live or work in so you guys can see how the networks did. Now the way they do this by the markets is they give you an overall assessment of who's doing the best in terms of performance then what they do is they look at elements of reliability speed data call and text and the one thing i will say about their collected data is the texting performance really shouldn't be an issue uh, i think call is very underrated in my opinion obviously data is important to us but speed and reliability are huge because speed is an indication of capacity and reliability is an indication of how you can depend on a provider to have you know really good service all the time nobody wants to see you know a majority of the time that their network is you know bogging down or it's not performing well or there's lots of disconnections and things like that so take a look at where your market stands what I've noticed and this is just like the SMT takeaways Verizon continues to dominate a lot of people say that Verizon pays off root metrics I, I don't see that I mean is there a correlation between root metrics declaring that Verizon keeps doing the best in this test that tells you something about their network if you've ever been a Verizon customer nationally they are clearly the king in LT availability this study and this data collected just seems to confirm that you'll see every market whether it's Baltimore or Charlotte you know you could see there's a lot of red dots texting calling data reliability it's, it's loaded with Verizon, but you'll also notice that there's a lot of blue there. There's a lot of AT&T, so AT&T has come up quite a bit. Uh, you know, there's Dayton, there's Denver, lots of Verizon domination there. Uh, you will not see much Sprint on a national level as being like the best carrier in a market. So, you know, what I'm trying to indicate is not that I'm not trying to put Sprint down. They just aren't able to compete nationally in a lot of these markets you know, as the best carrier, whether it's reliability or whether it's speed or whether it's calling, it's just not there. Uh, you'll see that T-Mobile does have some markets where they're considered one of the better carriers there, uh, but it's not that many. Uh, like there's Salt Lake City, Utah. You could see that most carriers do very well there. Uh, you know, moving forward in terms of the carriers, I would expect AT&T to continue to trend up. They've just, they've spent so much money on their network and their potential in 2020 is is endless and moving forward they just they've got the spectrum holdings they've got the diversity in the portfolio i mean also throw in the fact that verizon who appears to be the lt king they're getting squeezed up on their spectrum there's only so much juice inside of a lemon so they're going to be really busy this year in spectrum auctions trying to figure out ways to bolster their network t-mobile's got all of their eggs in the basket on the merger they really need it that's pretty clear and we all know the money and the financial problems that sprint is facing so clearly this root metrics you know data collection this report indicates 
who's going to be doing what moving forward. And I think carriers are wise to analyze this and take a look. And customers, of course, this is really important to know, especially when you're using carriers across the nation. Choose whoever gives you the best price, you go with them. So in areas like Santa Rosa, California or Scranton, PA, Verizon really takes the cake. So you're almost like, well, if I want good wireless service, I need to use Verizon in these places because I don't really have options as the others kind of lag behind in performance and metrics. So you'll see, guys, there are tons of cities, tons of markets where Verizon seems to dominate. You will see that in a lot of places, Verizon and AT&T both dominate. And the nice thing is, is you do see like T-Mobile does have some markets. But what I will say is, I think there's an indication that T-Mobile is starting to feel the squeeze a little bit. This has been something that's true, at least in the Cleveland area. It doesn't seem like their momentum in terms of network performance is continuing. I think there's a huge spectrum squeeze. It's happening with Verizon too, but Verizon has the macro sites. Verizon has the density and towers. They've got the small cell deployment. They're dealing with it a lot more efficiently and effectively than T-Mobile. And of course, T-Mobile's got documented issues with their 5G deployment. It's very early. It's, you know, the infancy stages of 5G. Our expectations have to be tempered. But in terms of my takeaways, I feel like Verizon is still king. This study really indicates that AT&T has come a long way. A lot of their big investments are really starting to pay off. You'll see tons of their markets have improved. They now gained a lot of locations in terms of market uh, where they're performing very well. And then you could see that the T-Mobile network still, you know, very clear indication that they are the third carrier. Uh, nationally amongst all these different markets there are some markets where they are very good but i can't say nationally they've done enough to truly compete with verizon or even at&t for that matter and the last thing you know you look at sprint there's just not much there for sprint i mean most of sprint's highlights are coming in the texting department uh i mean what's so hard about text messaging you know i, I would garner that sprint probably is doing most of their texting over cdma uh, you know, and utilizing those older legacy techs. So, uh, you know, you can clearly see as I scroll down through these national markets, who's doing what, where, who seems to be doing the best and doing the most nationally. It just seems to me like it's more of the same with the exception of AT&T coming up with some additional performance improvements and T-Mobile, you know, just hanging around third. That's my take. You guys let me know what you think of these results. I am going to wait for more of the data that they uh, provide in their reports because we have to look at the national perspective as opposed to market by market. I also want to look at not just the markets but like cities and I also want to look at states because a lot of people travel interstate or you know they travel nationally you get to see kind of who's doing what through most of the states i would love to cover that i'll keep you guys posted when that data does become available but this is all they had for now so please do me a favor if you haven't done so already go ahead and rate this video and if you haven't subscribed yet maybe this is the first video that you've seen from the smt hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from the smt and do take a look in the description box we got tons of links there uh, we got the podcast links, just added a new podcast platform, so check those links out. We also have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the PayPal link if you want to make a donation to the SMT. Uh, many thanks in advance for that. And uh, as well as the Sneed Tech Twitter handle, you guys can check all those links out down there. We also got a sponsorship there and information on how you can uh, potentially get involved in maybe becoming a sponsor here in the SMT. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Maybe we'll see you tonight for the live stream podcast. And of course, we do have more podcasts up and coming over on the audio only channels you guys can check those things out in the description box just as a reminder all right so that's it for this one i hope you guys do have a good day i am the smt and i will catch you guys on the next video peace